On the defensive, the family of a person of interest in the rape of a flight attendant talking only to Action News tonight. Investigators are looking for 44-year-old Dewan Parkman, also wanted on a probation violation. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live in Romulus. And Aaron, what is the family telling you tonight? Glenda and Heather, they're saying an awful lot. They tell me they talked to him this afternoon, trying to convince him to turn himself in. They claim they don't know where he is. So for now, the hunt continues. He knows that police are looking for him just as a person of interest right now. Not a suspect, but a person of interest. He's aware, right? Right. right. Even though he's still a person of interest, it's just like the way it's looking on the news. It's just people are already, in social media, people are already saying he did it. Family members on the defensive tonight saying there's no way 44-year-old Dewan Parkman has any connection to a rape case at the Days Inn in Romulus on June 20th. It makes me upset because I don't, I don't feel like he'd be that type of person because he know what I've been through. I was a victim of that myself two years ago. Investigators released this photo considering him only a person of interest after an 18-year-old Air Georgian flight attendant was attacked inside her hotel room. Surveillance video captured this man at the front desk rifling through information. Family members tell 7 Action News that is Parkman. I think she got drunk and we changed her mind or whatever, but I don't know what his story is, but I know it's not true. Family members did not want us to identify their relation, but say he was at the Wheat and Rye restaurant that night. Did see the flight attendant with her co-workers and went back to the hotel, but for concern for his family member, who was rumored to be an escort at an airport hotel. He said after when he saw that my name wasn't nowhere to be found in the guest list under, like, you know, letter-wise by my name, I guess he just left. He's wanted for a probation violation for assaulting a police officer, also running from a police officer. We're told that warrant was actually signed two days after the rape. There's a lot more to this story, according to his family. We'll have all of that for you coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. But for now, we're live in Romulus. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron, thanks so much.